rather than having to use a more complex feature such as a loft or a boundary or even any of the surfacing tools, you can quickly create a dome on a shape with the dome tool. And it's a very straightforward tool to use. We simply select faces to create domes on. So if I just choose this top surface for example and then choose a dimension I'll be able to create a dome. And we could quickly do the same on these other shapes as well. And there's also certain geometry that's going to be a little bit too complex for this feature. So for example, if I'm choosing out this face, there's no quite good way to create a dome around this. So the feature isn't going to complete. And as you saw in that warning message, the faces have to all be on the same body. So it would create multiple dome features to be able to do the other bodies. So if I select out a secondary face, it'll attempt to create a dome on both faces. In this case, choosing these two faces is too complex. But if I select this outside face, it'll attempt to create a dome. I can also constrain the dome by using a sketch. So for example, if I put a sketch point on the top plane and then create a dome from this body, it'll remove out the distance and just go off of your sketch point. And if the tool notices that you might be using an ellipse, it'll bring up this elliptical dome option, which will give you slightly different geometry. The last option in here is being able to choose out a direction. So if I created a sketch with a line in it, I can change the orientation of the dome. Typically you don't want to draw something parallel, as that feature won't work. But if I want to create an angled dome, off this a little bit, I can create a line slightly off the normal. And then use that as a direction for the dome. 